Is it tight? Yep. All right. Putting on a bumper is not rocket science. Generally what you do is you make sure it's even on both sides. That means sticking out from the fender. If this side's half an inch, this side has to be a half an inch. And making sure it's level to the grill, even on both sides again. One of the most important process of putting a bumper on is to make sure you don't scratch the fender. That's why we put masking tape around the edge so that in case the bumper was to touch the fender, it's not going to make a big scratch. That way we move it back and forth. Now, if Tom ever comes here, tape the whole fender, foam it, do whatever you take. Definitely. Unbelievable. <laughs> you ever seen him do any of it? Oh, yeah. You know, the part most people like about a 70 Challenger has to be the grill. It stands out. Now, we went with an NOS grill here, and we've tried to restore a couple of these. How come we went with an NOS one on this? We've done a couple in the past, and they just didn't come out right in the egg crate area. What he means by that is in this egg crate grill where the two right angles meet, it's real hard to get the anodizing right into the corners and you have this yellowish tinge that just doesn't look right. Even if it looked all right, by the time you do the black tape it off, you spend a lot of hours, that labor adds up. So we decided to go with an NOS piece. It was about $1,500, it makes the front of the car. What about the uh, light bezels, what do we do there? No problem finding them, but they're not cheap. So what do we spend on that? 300 aside. Okay, so by the time we're done, you've got $2,100 into a front grill. It looks perfect. It makes this car. It is an NOS restored car, and that's probably the way to go on this caliber of restoration. Now that the moldings and the grill are in the front end, really there's not a whole bunch of chrome through the middle of the car. You've got some stainless moldings around the windows. They've all been buffed at uh, the plating house, did a beautiful job. They fit in there nice. The only really tricky part is the taillight frames. These aren't reproduced by anybody and you can't get them brand new anymore. They're impossible to find. We sent the original one in and you can see the plater stripped off the old chrome plating and he had problems here with it starting to pit. You can see here all the pits in there and that isn't repairable. This is pot metal. He's tried grinding it and all the pits still didn't come out so he said you got to find another piece. We went to a California car, wasn't pitted. We got this piece here and you can see it went to the plater, it's perfect. You might even see one small imperfection there, but once it's in there, you'll never see that piece. So with the tail light frames, what you have to do is find a rust-free car, dry climate, sometimes even the coast cars, because of the salt water are pitted, you're gonna have to find a good piece, get it replated, that's the only way to go. Before you put this thing together, make sure the housing itself is really nice and clean and detailed because it's exposed from inside the trunk. The lens, make sure it's polished. Any fine little scratches, polish them out. The gasket, really important thing, make sure you have a good quality gasket because this is where the water is gonna leak into the trunk if you don't. Then it's real simple, you just slide it in, careful of the paint again. Now it's just a matter of putting in the right stud, the right bolts, and tightening them up. There's nothing really tricky about doing chrome plating or installing it. What we do here is we always have two guys putting on the big pieces. They take their time. They make sure they mask off the, the fenders or the quarter panels where there's a chance of chipping the paint. There's nothing worse than having the whole car finished, putting on that last emblem or last piece of chrome and finding out you chipped the corner. You got to remove it all to respray that area again. It's real important. Take your time. Make sure you do it right.